You're broke because you want to be broke. You're looking for somebody to save you. You're looking for Superman to save you, Batman to save you, a dude to save you, a woman to save you, your mama, your daddy. You're looking for somebody to save you from your own bullshit because you still think that you're not accountable for anything that's going on in your life right now. So you sit back and you blame your mom, your dad, you're a 30 something year old man or woman. You are still complaining about what happened to you 10 years ago. You're broke because you choose to be broke. There's never been a time in human history or human existence where there was no excuse for being broke. See our parents, my parents, my parents are Gen Xers. My parents are uh, 57, going to be 58. When they were my age, they didn't have the internet as wide open as it is now. All you got to do is literally, I'm going to give you five different things you can do to get some money. All right? Because poverty is not just a curse. It's an epidemic. Poverty is a cancer. It's hereditary. Poverty, when you have poverty and you have kids and you're choosing to be broke, you're not even trying, you're setting your kids up for failure. Just thinking your kids going to college is going to be enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. You don't know who I am by now. I am Kevin Robinson Jr. This is my YouTube channel. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. You owe it to your kids. You owe it to your family to at least try to make some money outside of your job. It ain't about, see, it's not like how it was when Nana and Papa, when they were, your grandparents were in the 40s and 50s, where your grandfather could go work at the steel mill for 40 years. He could buy a house by the time he was 26. And, you know, he could have five kids and still live off of the fact that he was working at the steel mill. He'd get his pension. He was okay. Those days are over. They're over. So you owe it to your family to try. You owe it to your kids. All right? I got five different ways you can make money today. Today. Because that's one thing about me. I'm about application. And, uh... All of these you can start with less than two cal two thousand dollars. All right, let's get into it. So we're gonna open up the trusty whiteboard. You dig? Trusty whiteboard. Now, like I said, I'm gonna give you five different, five different things that you can apply to your life today in order to make money. And. Uh, Build some bread for your kids. All right? Because ain't nothing worse than being broke. I'm sorry. Like, ain't nothing worse than it. Being broke is like the worst shit ever. For real. So, number one. Now, let me say this shit as a disclaimer. I am not a financial planner or a professional. I'm a guy that does my own research. And these are five things that I have done and I do now to make money. OK, so if you fuck off your bag, that's on you. OK. We got that out there. So the first one is this. This is the first one. Option trading. Option trading. Now, this one right here. What is option trading? So option trading is when you are buying an option, which is either a call or a put and, uh, in the stock market. And you're projecting that um, when you buy a call, you're projecting that a stock is going to rise. When you're buying a put, you're projecting that a stock is going to decrease. So say, for instance, we got Apple and Apple's at $100. And we've been reading the charts and the RSI is at a low point. It looks like it's going to rise. And from reading your charts, you're like, you know what? I should buy a call. I'm going to buy a 102 
$102 call. So as that stock rises from $100 up close to $200, $102, excuse me, $102. So as it rises from $100 to $102, you start to make money on interest from that. Option trading is difficult. It's not easy. Um, If you're not a technical type of person, I wouldn't even get into it. But if you're looking to make money in the stock market, option trading. Now, this is what I'm going to give you a big disclaimer on this one more than the other three. This is the most difficult one of the five I am bringing up. This is one that if you're not a person who enjoys reading, you enjoy, a person that doesn't enjoy studying, you don't like charts, don't even think about getting into this. All right. But if you're good at math, if you enjoy charts, you like to read, you love to enjoy this, you can make a lot of money with this one. All right. Had to put that disclaimer out there. All right. So number two. Now this is my one of my personal favorites. This one right here is one of my personal favorites. This one has made me a lot of money. <laughs> so this is real estate wholesale. Number two, real estate wholesaling, a.k.a. real estate investing. So with real estate wholesaling, you're basically helping people that are in uh, distressed situations, people that are going through divorce, pre-foreclosure, uh, maybe they're a t- tired landlord, maybe they have tax issues, and you're helping them get out of their financial dis- uh, situation by offering to buy their house. You get them house under contract at a discounted rate, and you flip that contract to another cash buyer. So from that, you make a finder's fee. So in essence, this is arbitrage, okay? So real estate wholesaling. I've been in real estate wholesaling for, man, next month, it'll be four years. And um, it's changed my life dramatically. Now, if you're a type of person where you got mouthpiece, this one's good for you, okay? So for all of my people that are looking for something new, and you got a mouthpiece and you want to sell something, get into real estate wholesaling. The third one is this, vending machines. Vending machines. Now, vending machines... Um, this is one that I've been in the last year. I have a company called Pacific Vending and I consider this micro real estate. So basically wherever your vending machine is, uh, it needs to be cash flow on you. And the average vending machine location can average between 80 to $200 a week. Um, $200 being the best. So that'd be like $200 a week would be like, uh, that's per machine. That'd be like a warehouse, um, hotels, motels, hospitals, shit like that. Um, so we're vending machines. This is a good business for anybody um, that's looking to get in for less than $2,000. Um, all you need is a good location and the machine and a uh, credit card reader and um, I have whole videos on this. So if you want to know how to do vending, go tap into that. All right. And if you could do me a favor, why don't you hit that sub button, hit that like button and uh, comment below if you have some of your own that you think might help the people. All right. The fourth one is this. So coming from the vending world, uh, we got ATMs. It only made sense, right? ATMs. Now, all ATMs are not owned by banks. There are ATMs that you can see at a uh, gross, or you can see at uh, independent, you know, like at like a 
laundromats, uh, gas stations, car washes. Those are really good locations for ATMs. Um, the best ATM locations that I have are actually at uh, dispensaries. So I have a couple of dispensaries and a couple of smoke shops. And um, the way how you get paid with the ATM is basically you get paid per transaction. All right. So basically, say, for instance, you have um, actually let's do this on a whiteboard. Say, for instance, you have and we're going to put it on the side right here. So I charge, you charge a transaction fee, okay? So with the transaction fee, as you can see right there, transaction fee, I charge, hold on, oops. I usually charge anywhere from $3 uh, the 329. Okay. So that's generally the transaction fee that I charge. Okay. Um, 329 a transaction. Now, at a really good location, you'll probably get about 10, um, I would say anywhere from t about, um, excuse me. You get anywhere from about 15 to 20 transactions a day. So let's just say 20 transactions a day times 329. Okay. So let's see. That works out to 329 times 3.29 times 20. Let's just say $66. So that's $66 that you're making per day okay per day times 30 right and that's nine seven four this is how much money you can make at a really good location with an atm that's good money like that, that ain't, that's not too shabby, right? That's a really good location though. Gas station, um, a restaurant that doesn't do a bar that doesn't do credit cards. You're going to kill. All right. So, um, man, tap in with that one. Okay. ATMs, really good one. The last one is this. Last one is this. Reselling. This is the Gary V method. Reselling shit. This is my first hustle. I would buy watches in high school for eight bucks, and I would sell them in high school for thirty dollars. Was that a twenty-two dollar profit, right? So that's how I made my money in high school, college. I would buy Jordans and I would resell them. Now, there's a lot of people now that do resale. They resell sneakers. I think that's a good business. Um, anything's an asset as long as it appreciates. I mean, there are depreciating assets, but a, a great asset, a cash flowing asset can be anything that appreciates with time. So that could be sneakers. That could be baseball cards. Uh, it could be figurines. You might be one of these people that like um, those fun cold dolls or uh, Star Wars figurines, whatever. I'm with whatever makes money. So whatever makes you money, do what you got to do. So let's break it down. So we got option trading, option trading. Right. Option trading is the most difficult one. I told y'all that. That is not easy. Um, you got you got to do your own due diligence on all of these I'm naming off. OK, so don't just hop into some shit and say, hey, I lost a thousand dollars because you told me to option trade. 
Do your own due diligence. Uh, real estate wholesaling. If you got mouthpiece, you can make a lot of money in that. Number three, vending machines, micro real estate, ATMs, same thing as well. Um, number five, reselling. Reselling is another one. So you have zero excuses to be broke. You watch this video. You watch it to this point, which means you probably watch it from the complete beginning. Do your kids and do yourself a service. Get your ass up and make you some money. Quit blowing your, I know a lot of y'all going to get this, this uh, Christmas bonus, which probably going to be about 1000 what, 1500 Don't blow it on a PlayStation 5. Don't blow it on some Yeezys, on a Tailfire bag. Take that money and invest it into one of these five. You feel me? I don't want to see no more of your eat the rich, broke bitch videos. I don't want to see none of that. No more eat the rich shit. We can get rich together. I just gave you the blueprint. All right? Peace and love.